this is what's been going on on my desk for the past few days. These are the prints that I have to ship out later today before the post office closes, but this is how I was preparing my print and I thought it would be sort of interesting to show you guys before my desk reverts back to its original setup. It's pretty messy right now. All the prints are here, they are all sleeved up, and then I just take them out one by one. Um, this is so far the most popular print. Seems like all of you guys like it, there's only like a few left, and so is so is Hakone Shrine, there's only a few left as well, so if you want to get them, this is probably your best chance to get them. Really appreciate you guys for dropping by the website and checking the prints out. These are the postcards, they are also sleeved, but they won't be sleeved when I ship them out. But yeah, it's been really interesting to package these prints one by one. I got these uh, rigid mailers, and then I also slipped a piece of cardboard in there so that the hopefully the postman won't bend it during shipping and also with the fragile stickers i hope that at least they would see it and read it <laughs> so that again they won't bend it i have prints that have been bent when i shipped them out personally for the past two years, um, there's like one or two prints that are bent and I have PTSD since then. So I try to package them as nicely as possible so that they have the least chance of being bent. So this is very, very rigid and hope that they wouldn't force their mighty strength and try to bend them in any way. And I also bought too many of these fragile stickers, I think there's like a thousand of them, which that's like the minimum order, but they actually are pretty cool, so I will still keep them and maybe stick it everywhere. I was thinking of filling the whole envelope with just please handle with care fragile, but um, it would look very red. <laughs> I also got these, these little camera stickers, they are different, but each one of them is different. And then I just stick it onto the other side of the envelope, but there's addresses, so I don't want to reveal that. But I will stick it like this, basically, on the other side as well. So, a nice personal little touch. Um, but yeah, sorry for the messy desk. And for the paper, actually some of you are asking about the paper that I print them on. These are Pictorico Gecko paper. These are heavyweight papers, they are 340 grams per meter squared, and they are archival Baraita paper. I got these in Japan, so I hand carry them all the way back, because in Japan you can actually see the samples of the papers. Like you can see the paper and you can touch it, so you know what they feel like. And if I just order them online, I wouldn't know what the paper looks like, so I went to Yodobashi in Akihabara to get these papers, so yeah, and the other type of paper is this soft gloss. My personal opinion is that these paper look better if the photo has higher contrast, and then this paper will look better with photos that are more muted, just like this one. So that's why I decided to print them on different types of paper just because I feel like they look better on different papers. But yeah, really thank you guys for checking out the prints actually. My friends also say that this one is pretty dope. But this one is really really such a random snap that I kind of like it more by now because I didn't intend to take this picture in the first place until I go through them. But yeah, this one so far there's only like a few left so if you guys want to check out the prints I've linked it in the website as well. But for now before the Post office closes, I have to ship these few prints out, and then that will be it for me. What a messy desk, sheesh. <laughs> oh yeah, and also a lot of you asked about like, the clock. So the clock is from Divoom, it's called a Divoom Timescape. Uh, they sent one out to me for free, and then I just left it here. People say that they look like Apple Watches, but I never owned an Apple Watch, so I don't really know what they look like, but I mean, it looks pretty cool. You can customize it if you want. So yeah, but I think it's a little bit expensive if you just want like a fancy looking clock, but I'll still link it if you guys are interested in that. But yeah, anyways, 
yeah, just want to say thank you guys for ordering the prints. If you still want to get them, they're on the website until they are gone, basically. So there's only 25 prints for each print. There's four of them. There's this one, this one in anime. We have Hakone Shrine. And of course we have this one. So I really like the minimalistic look. But yeah, this is like the behind the scenes of how I <laughs> package the prints. But now I'm gonna ship them out. Definitely not uh, jaywalking by any means. We're at the post office. Pretty good. There is absolutely no one here, which is amazing. Okay, that's basically it for today. Oops. This is not supposed to be here. That's done. Time for the next batch. So what we're doing now is we're just seeing what the photos on different types of paper would look at because I bought two types of paper and the main difference is that the photo viewed on the screen is slightly different from when you actually print it out. I know from the camera it doesn't look like there is too big of a difference, actually close to none, but if you see it in person then there is a very discreet but noticeable difference. Speaking of the devil, <laughs> this is Max. What a boy! <laughs> <laughs> he has a professional printer in his bedroom. Enough said. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> Canvas, no more than that. 